Hey guys, Experian here. Today I'm going to show you how to SSH into your jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. Now I've got two ways that I've figured out here. One way is you need Wi-Fi. Another way you don't need Wi-Fi at all, all you need is your USB cable. And I haven't seen a video of this way anywhere else so I don't know. Maybe it'll work for you guys. Anyways, first what you want to do is open up Cyberduck. And it'll take a second to download. Anyway, I'll give you a link in the description so you can download it. And we up the top, you want to change it from FTP to SFTP, which is SSH File Transfer, Transfer Protocol. Now, the server is your IP address. So if you're using Wi-Fi, what you want to do is you want to go into General. Uh, I mean, you want to go back to your home screen, then you want to go into Settings. Then look down a little bit and you'll see Wi-Fi. Click on that and up the top hopefully you'll see your IP address if you connect it. And then all you have to do is type in your username's root and your password's Alpine. And it's simple as that. Click connect. But if you don't have Wi-Fi and you can't get in anywhere else, what you want to do is you need Vosprefs installed in your phone, which you can get that through Cydia if it's jailbroken and once that's installed open up your Safari browser and like Google or something and once that's loaded just close it again and open up boss prefs and next to the 3G or Edge network it'll say in brackets it'll say a little IP address so what you want to do is you want to type that in which is 114 114.74.28.185 now this varies and it will all be different for you guys so once you've found that type that up in here and make sure your port is on 22 okay then all you have to do is click connect and hopefully it will connect to it also you need to have credit on your phone to um, iPhone to open up Safari and click allow and type in your password which is Alpine Alpine login authenticating is root and also note that the 3G way we use the phone's internet is a lot slower and if you want to get to the main file system you go up one two three and there we go you just SSH'd into your iPhone or iPod touch and hopefully this video helped you and if it did rate comment subscribe and I'll see you later bye